Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, and today we're going to head into Monstro's, well, we're going to head into whatever the fuck these are going to be, uh, whether it be his stomach or maybe his intestines or something or his esophagus or his colon, either way, we're going to head inside the rest of Monstro and try to find Pinocchio. What are you doing? Come on, let's go back. You know, Geppetto's awfully worried about you. Pinocchio, stop fooling around. This is no time for games. But Sora, I thought you liked games. Or are you too cool to play them now that you have the Keyblade? Riku? W what are you doing here? Just playing with Pinocchio. You know what I mean. What about Kyrie? Did you find her? Maybe. Catch us, and maybe I'll tell you what I know. Oh, come on! Alright, so now we need to catch this asshole. But before we do that, we have, I think they're called Search Ghost. We have a new type of different Heartless, and we'll look at the name later on. Granted, I could just easily just look at the name now, but of course. Well, you know what? Fuck it, why not? I don't think this is gonna, like, destroy anything, so we'll find out what their actual names are. Just so I know. Search Ghost, yes, that's what I was correct. We'll read, we'll, we'll read about them later. Alright. So basically, inside of Monstro is... It's just... Okay, it's like Agrabah. Where, you know, like, in the Cave of Wonders where you fall down, and then, like, all of a sudden, you know, you find your way back up. You know, it's, it's a maze-like, but it's not too bad. Now, the thing with Monstro... Or actually, the thing with Agrabah is in that, it's trial and error. That's pretty much what it is. You know, you go through it, you find out, oh, okay, so this leads me here, so I just won't fall down that pit anymore. With Monster, on the other hand, it's trial, error, and error again. That's what I feel like it is. See, we just now jumped into, into Chamber 2. We need to go to Chamber 6. But the thing is, usually when you jump through, like, another chamber, you end up going to, like, a whole different, completely strange one. So... Now, these are set paths, obviously. If they weren't, that would be kind of obnoxious. But as far as I'm concerned, they are practically just set paths. So there's really no need to worry about that. The thing that I am worried about, essentially, is the fact that I'm going to get lost. Because I'm going to more than likely forget where I've been at. So, I know from the mouth, we took Chamber 2, so we got that written down in my memory log. Hopefully that stays there and never actually disappears, but knowing me, who knows what could possibly happen. Alright, so this is chamber 3 over that way. Any other paths we can take? The only path we can take right now would be chamber 3. That's the only destination that we can go at at this moment, so I'm going to take that one. I'm going to try to take every route that I possibly can, so hoping for the best. So yeah, wish me luck, fellas. So yeah, this leads back to chamber 2, though. But, uh, it lead, it's like, where does it lead back into Chamber 2? That's the question. So, again, we're, I think we're in Chamber 3 right now. We're in the Chamber Part of Secrets. Stay away from the Chamber Part of Secrets. What, what, was, what was that kid's name again? Nigel? Ah, oh, fuck. I don't remember his name. But, uh, I'm talking about Billy and Manny. Like, Lord Moldybutt or whatever. It's that kid that looked just like Harry Potter, but it was, like, obviously a parody of it. Okay, so we took care of him. And then it turned out, uh, like... Frogsworth, or whatever his name was, the guy that was actually in charge of university itself, was actually the one who, like, disguised himself as Lord Moldybutt. And, like, whenever you say his name, it fucking, like, destroy something. And then, like, at the end of the episode, you find out that it actually was a real Lord Moldybutt. Yeah, I don't know. It, Billy and Mandy was weird back then. I actually saw this pretty funny picture today of Billy and Mandy. It was an Overwatch picture. I don't play Overwatch, but I have an idea of what the characters are. Grimm was obviously Reaper. And then, uh, Mandy was Mercy, I think her name is. And Billy was... I don't know his name, fuck. It's... I think it's Bastion, it's like Genji or some shit like that. I don't know, he's one of the... The robotic looking kind of guys or whatever. So... Sorry I don't know, but I'm kind of an idiot. So yeah, if you fall down here... In Chamber 3... We have to head back to Chamber 1! So it's like... God damn it! You know? Well, hey, at least we know that leads to there, so that's kind of a pointless place to go. So there's no reason to go to Chamber 3 from Chamber 1, because that's just going to lead to a dead end. Now that I know that, I'm going to keep that in my memory banks. Yeah, like I said, I mean, 
I guess if you know, or if you remember where to go, it shouldn't be that bad, but there are points where I'm gonna, like, completely just get lost and just forget. More than likely, but hopefully my memory serves me well and I can actually figure this place out just fine. I'm sure I'll be able to figure it out. Hopefully. So I don't want to have to keep boring the fuck out of you guys. Yeah, as you can see, the shadows do actually stack up against, like, your level. So, they're not going to give us just 1p every time we kill one now. It's actually going to be like 4p. Since we are on a higher battle level, they're going to give us actually more experience for killing them fucking things. Thank God for that, right? Wipe out these guys. Only 10 experience apiece. But then again, how how much experience is, really, is it really going to take me to get leveled up, though? That's the question at hand. 157. Alright, so we have like... I don't know, like what, 15 more of the motherfuckers to go and we're done with that? So we fell down this place. Unfortunately, I'm kind of an idiot. Well, actually, no. We have to go this way because... Yeah, that's right. So now we're going to go right back into Chamber 3 and this time, instead of jumping down... Well, actually, we can probably just jump across. No, I don't think so. That does not look like a place I can jump across to. So we're going to go here. We're going to go to Chamber 2 via Chamber 3. So we're going to go back. And now we're going to hop down over here. And yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier. It's kind of annoying. But, eh, it's not too bad, I guess. Like I said, if you have an idea where you're going... Oh, these were Barrel Spiders. Aha! Yeah, these motherfuckers explode. I think the reason why I called them Barrel Spiders in Agrabah was because... One, I'm kind of an idiot and don't know the difference between a pot, a pot and a barrel, apparently. Um, in Chain of Memories, you fight Barrel Spiders, like, constantly. So, it was just something that... I remembered from that game, and I just kind of just, you know, put it into fruition with this game, apparently. Alright, so, utilizing the cheat of being able to get a longer distance of a jump, you can easily make that jump over there. Now we're going to head into Chamber 5. Here's the thing. We need to go from 5 to 6. But the question is, where the fuck is Chamber 6 at? Well, I don't think it's actually in here, if I'm correct. I think we have to take, like, a few more chambers, and then we can just be right back into Chamber 6. So I think there's like another way we can get into Chamber 6 from a different destination. Unless we can get into Chamber 6 from here, but I think there might be... I don't know. Let's go find out what this path is first, and then I'll, I'll take a look. This is Chamber 6. Yes, okay. So we can get to Chamber 6 from Chamber 5, but I think more than likely the game's going to fuck us over, and it's going to be like, no, haha, you have to take another path to get up to a higher place. Another place that you wanted to go to, or that you need to go to. Maybe. Unless I actually just went the right way, and I'm just kind of an idiot. Well, again, it's been a while since I played this game, so the first time I played it, I was completely lost. And I was just an idiot, and I had kind of no idea what the fuck I was doing. But then again, I'm a pretty explorative kind of person. I want to be able to explore at least everything, you know, and hopefully find anything else that I might need. You know, considering the fact items. Items are always nice to have. So let's head into Chamber 6, because this is here, so... Why not take the advantage while I have it, right? Alright, I pop down here. Fortunately for me, I can actually jump down to... I can actually jump... Yeah, see, there's multiple different pathways we have to take. So I don't... Wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think we have to... Okay. The way we need to go... I don't remember if it's actually in Chamber 6 or in some other chamber. For all I know, it more than likely is in like a whole different chamber than Chamber 6. We'll figure it out. We'll... We'll get there. We'll find Pinocchio and Riku. Don't worry, folks. We'll get there. I just don't remember exactly what chamber we have to go to. Alright. So if you're following along, just kind of follow along what I'm doing here. Learn tech boost and defense up. Thank God for that. Yes. You need more defense ups. Always need more. Need plenty more. Let's grab this item down here. But first, we got to take out these guys, because, you know, you can't do anything with violence. You can't open chests with violence around, apparently. Which is what I like about uh, Kingdom Hearts... Two, is they let you open chests even though you're in combat. Thank God for that. So number 76, 77, and 78 have been collected. This will take me back to chamber 5. Did we come from there? No, we didn't. Because if we came from there... No, we fell down, didn't we? Yeah, we fell down from there. So, actually, let's go check out this bottom one first. We'll start from the bottom and then head our way to the top. Which I think there was actually another place way down over there that I did not go to. Ah, oh, yeah, see, there's a chest over here. So it's a good thing we are actually exploring. That's probably what fucked me up the first time. As I probably was just too busy exploring, and then I just kind of just, you know, forgot where I was going to, apparently. Alright, so let's get this chest open. Well, first, of course, first and, you know, foremost, kill the heartless. No surprise. God damn it! These stupid shadows are just everywhere! Okay, so that takes... Nope, that's not all of them just yet. We're almost all dead. 
That should be all of them. Nope, there's still more violence. Oh my good god, would you just spawn at the same time instead of like spawning at different times, guys? Seriously, you're making this even more difficult than it needs to be. Alright, so let's wipe these guys out with my Blizzara. Or whatever it's called. Yeah, Blizzara. Yes. I think the last one's like Blizzaga or something like that. It's like Fire, Fira, Firaga. Something like that. Something or right, another. It's Bufu. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and wipe these assholes out. Of course, the green Requiems are going to recharge from my Blizzard attacks, but they're no match for my Keyblade, though. Let's see. All right, let's see here. Mega Ether, and what's next? A good old fashioned Thundaga G. God damn it. I'm not going to really upgrade my gunny. I think I've decided at this point to not even mess with the gummy ship because I really just don't give a shit. I just don't know how to do it. I really don't. I'm stupid. I. I'm sure if I actually took some time and actually learned what to do with it, I could probably figure it out. But as it stands right now, that's not going to happen. So there's a white trinity down there, but the thing is, that's going to lead to another area. Oh, fucking boy. More violence. Just exactly what I wanted to put up with today. Well, hell, I should have leveled No, I did level up, didn't I? That's right. I was going to say, like, I should have leveled up by now. No, I did. Okay. Let's wipe these dicks out. And for some reason, my computer is making that obnoxious, really obnoxious noise right now. And I want it to stop. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to like get up off my fat ass and just go change that real quick. I mean, I'm not really going to meet. It's not really going to matter. I guess I just go do that real quick. All right, hang on one second here, folks. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move this. All right. It's a little bit unprofessional of me to get up, but who cares? So there's that. You actually got to hear me smack my computer. Cause that's what I do. It's still making that damn noise. I think my computer sucks at this point. Like, it's just complete shit now. Alright, so let's wipe these guys out. Let's get this chest. Good thing I came over here, though. Now, if I wouldn't have came over here this moment in time, would have came back with the white trinity, I probably would have just came over here and grabbed this anyway. So, good thing we did that. And oh, Meets G. Another stupid fucking gummy piece. Oh, boy. Wonderful. 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 Okay, so now we fell, down, we fell back down here. So that's how you get over there. That, I, okay. That ledge I was trying to get to, I think, was another ledge we went to before. So there's really no need to go back up there. Let's wipe out more of these guys, because these guys give me 10 experience every time I whip their asses. And two tech points every single time I tech them, too. So that's not bad. Yeah, I tech them. Tekken 2. Oh, yeah. If I ever do a Tekken Let's Play on my channel, it would probably start with the second one. It would probably be about it. Because, like, Tekken was a game in my childhood that I do love. So that kind of explains why King is on my background. For my uh, channel layout or whatever it's called. So, yeah. If you're wondering about that, there you go. Yes, I know it's a Tekken Tag Tournament 2 version of him, but apparently, I guess that was the only one my friend could find. Or he wanted to find, I guess. Or either that, or I told him to find it. Which, more than likely, that second option was probably what it really was. And I'm just a goddamn moron. Alright, so let's wipe these guys out. Wipe the floor with them. Poof! I know I'm just wasting time, but you know, at the same time. You guys would be doing the same damn thing, too. It's like, I don't see you guys doing a Let's Play, so don't complain about mine. Alright. Here we go. Get some more experience, because grinding is going to help out in the future. Of course, I can always just, you know, do off-screen grinding. But really, what's the point in that? Why not just go ahead and torture my audience and make them watch me grind? That's always fun, right? No, the thing is, like, I'm going to be making progression through this. Clearly, I'm going to be looking for, like, anything secretive and stuff like that. And we'll be exploring the, you know, the rooms that I'd go through. At the same time, if I come across any Heartless, so to speak, then I'm going to go ahead and kill them all off. Or, at least, the majority of them. If I decide not to kill them off, that might be kind of strange, because, typically, I like to just go ahead and kill all the violence. Yes, violence solves the violence. Alright, so let's wipe these guys out, too. And we'll be done with this area in a second. Now, I think the Barrel Spires are probably more likely weak against Blizzard attacks. Because they do explode, so you would think that, you know, hitting them with some kind of, like, ice maneuverability would definitely help. So he's dead. He will not die. So let's just go ahead and leave him alone, because really there's no point. I'm sure Donald's going to go ahead and waste his time taking him out instead. Alright. Or Goofy, at least. Somebody will. Somebody will jump down there and probably hit the rest of them. Unless I, unless that was the one that, yeah, I think they teleported back up here. God damn it! It's like, as soon as I about go through the door, that's when they appear. So, back to Chamber 5. 
And now, we need to get back into chamber 6. No surprise, search ghosts are going to come out of nowhere. Now, I think the reason why this block specifically is here is so that we can actually get up somewhere. Or maybe I'm thinking of like a whole different block I saw earlier. Yeah, I think I am. I think there was like a different block. Or maybe that was just, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, folks. Oh, damn it. Freeze, asshole. But you told me to freeze. Good thing is, whenever you're locked onto an enemy, you can't really leave the room. So you have to be stuck until you unlock the enemy and then you can just leave. But that's a good thing, too, because, like, I don't want to accidentally leave the room while I'm fighting something and then all of a sudden come back. Like, say, for instance, like, white mushrooms or something appears and all of a sudden, you know, I get fucked over by it. Speaking of white mushrooms, we still have some white mushroom stuff to do. More than likely, I'm going to try to do that stuff on my own. On my own accord. So, we'll worry about that when I get there now, won't we? Alright. Kill this guy. And, of course, I think what I hopped down to last time was a white trinity. So, we don't need to go back that way anymore. Alright, we've been to the very bottom. See, the thing is, at least we fall down here. So, that saves us one, like, room I have to go back and check. Kill him, Donald, please. You can use anything else but lightning. Or besides thunder. Just do it. Just fucking kill him. It's not that hard. See, so yeah, using the idea of process of elimination, we should be able to figure out exactly which door we need to go to next. That was completely intentional, but also an accident. I didn't realize it was actually going to be a cure one. I wasn't thinking at the time. I actually didn't mean to do Blizz uh, Blizzard, but at the same time, I didn't expect it to be a green one. But I should have paid attention a little bit more and realized it was a green one. My fault's exact. So let's head back into Chamber 5, a different position. Which I don't know how this works sometimes. I really don't. Oh, shit. Oh, God. No, let me up there, please. We need to get out of here, like, now before I get knocked back down. It's too late. Let's just fucking beat the shit out of these guys, please. Somebody do something. Christ's sake. <laughs> do something. Do something. Do something. Oh, God. This is not going to end well for me, is it? Donald, please. Please hurt. Or, yeah, that works too. Just give me something, like... Just give me some MP. I actually choked on spit for a second there. That was not supposed to happen. Okay, so, we got some MP back. Alright, there's this guy. No, no, stop it! Wait, what's that up there? Oh, a chest. Duh. Can I actually get up there, though? That's the question. I think so. I'm pretty sure I can. I mean, okay, from a jump like that, no. No, we, we wouldn't be able to get up there with a jump like that. We'll come back later and we'll put up with that stuff. And cutscene, folks. We finally made it to... Why do you still care about that boy? He has all but deserted you for the Keyblade and his new companions, after all. I don't care about him. I was just messing with him a little. Oh, really? Of course you were. Beware the darkness in your heart. The heartless prey upon you. Mind your own business. Riku! What's the matter with you? What are you thinking? Don't you realize what you're doing? I was about to ask you the same thing, Sora. You only seem interested in running around and showing off that Keyblade these days. Do you even want to save Kairi? I do. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We ended up finally making it to the Chamber Pot of Secrets. Of course, there's other destinations we can go to. We can go to the Bowels. Oh, good lord. And of course, we can head back to Chamber 5, but we're not going to do that. So, we're going to go ahead and save it real quick. Now, be a little careful about the Trinity Marks in here, because I may or may not have passed a blue one, or a green one, or a red one. Because of these on the ground, floating around on the fucking floor. It's kind of hard to tell whether or not it's blue and green Trinities. So, yeah. Now, we're going to head into here and see what Pinocchio and Riku are up to.
You up for this? No problem. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so Riku, for whatever reason, is going to go ahead and actually work with us on this fight, particularly. So, this is... Oh, God, I forgot his name. Shit. I don't remember, actually, to be honest. Ah, uh, fuck, hang on, just give me a minute here. Well, anyway, it's a Heartless that has Pinocchio trapped inside of it. I think it was, like, Cage something, something Cage or something like that. Nicholas Cage! That's what it was called, yeah. So this is Nicholas Cage, and he's pretty pissed that Ghost Rider 2 didn't do as good as Ghost Rider 1. And so now he decided to go ahead and kidnap Pinocchio to hopefully produce another movie uh, about Pinocchio and possibly Geppetto. And it's probably going to be something about Geppetto killing Pinocchio, uh, more than likely. Which I actually heard there was actually a movie about Geppetto being a serial killer, or something like that. Or it was like a horror movie, apparently, based on Geppetto. That sounds kind of dumb, but then again, you know, what is not Hollywood nowadays, anyway. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick, and I'm surprised that actually Riku's going to help us, to be honest. We got an HP up, thank God for that, awesome. So did we free Pinocchio or not? Let's find out. Okay, so apparently Goofy learned a new ability called Cheer. I don't think we have enough to put that on. Increases the summon's MP gauge, giving them more time and text for battle. Equip the entire body to boost effect. Wait, increases the summon's MP gauge. Oh, uh, okay. So that, that works for, like, summons and stuff. But we don't really do that a whole lot. We have Charge. Charge is not got an enemy with a shield. And, of course, Tornado. We're allowed an enemy. Yeah, we'll do this one. We'll equip him with Tornado real quick. Uh, treasure magnet for Donald, which I'm surprised he got that. So we're gonna we'll give that to him. I still have two I can put on. We have tech boost increases tech points attained by parrying enemy attacks. <gasps> Fuck yeah, that's awesome! Hell yeah, I want that. Granted, I probably should be putting on the other attacks, but you know what? I don't really like. I don't know, like combo plus and air combo plus don't really do anything for me right now. Like I just waste more time. So let's go ahead and actually equip. Um. I want to try something else. Have we ever done Ripple Drive? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we've done that one before. We've not actually equipped Sonic, Sonic Blade yet, so... Uh, I'll get rid of Tech Boost, I guess. I'll keep on Air Combo Plus, just for the sake of it. We have MP Haste, and of course we have Sonic Blade, so let's try that one out. Just to show it off. I'm not really kind of like, uh... I'm not really too... fanatical when it comes to, like, the attacks. Pinocchio! Pinocchio! Please, give me back my son! Sorry, old man. I have some unfinished business with this puppet. He's no puppet. Pinocchio is my little boy! He is unusual. Not many puppets have hearts. I'm not sure. But maybe he can help someone who's lost theirs. Wait a minute. Are you talking about Kyrie? What do you care about her? So yeah, Riku's still being pretty much a jackass, and as we can tell, there's a chest over here, and also... Oh, we now learned the ability called High Jump. The party can equip these shared abilities by selecting Shared in the Abilities menu. I don't know why the boys need it, but, you know, they can jump pretty damn high already. So let's go to the Abilities section, go to Shared, and equip it. Powers up your jump, allowing you to reach higher places. Let's go talk to Geppetto real quick, so he's going to say about this madness. Pinocchio means everything to me. I don't know what I'd do without him. Don't worry, Geppetto. We'll get him back for you, safe and sound. Riku's just being an asshole. He'll get over it eventually. Alright, so let's try to jump up here. If I can get up here. I could have sworn there's a way you can get up here. Come on, there's a fucking way. There it is. Green Trinity Mark. Awesome. So we need this. Let's go ahead. Donald. Sora. Wait, no. Goofy. Donald. Sora. Dan. I said it wrong. I messed up the order again. So basically, we're going to do the Tower of Eddie. I'll grab this real quick. So we have the chest. We now have another mythical shard. Always need more. And yeah, high jump is awesome. It's going to be one of those abilities we're going to be utilizing a lot in this fucking game because this game is a platform. We're still at heart. Thank God for that. We have scan G. There's going to be a blue little Trinity mark over here. So I'm going to, well, actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and jump up here real quick and get this chest. 
real quickly. Let's grab this real fast, and then we'll get the blue trinity. Water gleam. Wait, what? Water gleam? Is that what that said? Oh, there's another chest down there, too. So let's hop back down here. Let go, Sora, please. Thank you. Let's do another trinity jump real quick. We're almost done with them, too. I think we have, like, what? Four more to go? A potion, a cottage, and another... God damn it. So the thing is, like, whenever you do that, you typically get the less of items. Like, you get the lesserness of items. You don't really always get, like, the best stuff out of it, either. So that's... Yeah. That's to be expected, I guess. All right, let's jump over here. Utilizing Sora's abilities to high jump and also do a 360 no-scope trick shot with his keyblade, he was capable of platforming on these rafts. 73, 74, 75. And there we go. That should be cleaned. Oh, uh, damn it. All right, so that one's not cleaned out. So now we have to fucking get our fat assets back all the way over here. Fortunately for me, the water is lowered enough just so I can get up here. Uh, Sora, please. Thank you. Sora, don't go me. Okay, now let's do this. There you go. Yeah, 360 no-scope trick shots right here, folks. You've seen it live. Do it live. Fuck it. Now I got a cottage. All that for a cottage. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, uh, whatever. Anyway, so that's going to be the end of this episode, folks. I hope you all enjoyed, and we'll see you all next time when we play some more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And we end up taking down whatever it's called, the cage monkey, the barrel spider. No, no, no. What the fuck is it called? I know it's a boss. Oh, come on. I don't have the name of it yet. Bullshit. Bullshit. Whatever. It's not Search Ghost, not Peril. Whatever. We'll, fight. we'll figure it out next time. So, I will see you all then. So, take care of everybody. And, for the rest of you folks out there who want to listen to me blab, let's get right into the show, shall we? I have some new characters we need to read about. We have the new Heartless. Which is going to be, first of all, Barrel Spiders. Gunpowder Barrel turn Heartless. They change into their enemies and explode. Or, no, they charge into their enemies and explode. Any physical impact or fire will set them off. Of course, that's why you should utilize your Blizzard abilities. Search Ghost. Heartless that mostly appear in Atlantica. They roam in dark areas and emit light from their eye to target their enemies. They can warp from one place to another. And that's it for the Heartless. Next, we have some more Chronicles we need to read about, which is Monstro, and that's it. Inside Monstro, Sora and his friends ran into Pinocchio and Geppetto. Pinocchio wandered off, and when Sora found him, he also found Riku. It was a strange reunion, and Riku suddenly ran off with Pinocchio. Baffled by Riku's behavior, Sora followed them. Amidst all the chaos, a heartless attacked Pinocchio and left him lying motionless. Did it consume his heart? No. I still sense it. It's just sleeping. I should know. I'm his conscious. Sora, please go rescue Pinocchio. And that's it for all the reading. So, in the next episode, we're going to go take out Nicolas Cage and save Pinocchio and stop Riku from being a giant jackass. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. So take care, everybody.